And that's what I want to talk about, the beginning of civilization. What does it take to make a civilization? First of all, there is the settling in one place. Professor Hayden, there's a phone call for you in the director's office. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm teaching a class. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor Hayden, it's an emergency. Excuse me, I'll, I'll be Ladies and gentlemen, you don't know me. I'm Professor Walker from the Anthropology Department. And I think that we might be starting off on the wrong foot here tonight. We tend to equate civilization with technological advance. I would suggest to you that there are five stages of human evolution that we should be concerned about. The first one would be hunters and gatherers, people who make their living off of the land hunting animals, gathering plant remains. We think these people have a very tough time of it, uh, but in fact, it's a very easy lifestyle. Hunters and gatherers among the Kung Bushmen, a male may only work five days out of the month, a female only 12 to 14. That's a very easy lifestyle. However, for about 99.9% .9 of human existence, we have been hunters and gatherers. 10,000 to 8,000 years ago, agriculture. Professor Hayden mentioned that. Uh, but what's the cost? Tremendous disruption of the surface of the ground, the ecology. Hunters and gatherers leave no mark. They're nomadic, they're here, they're gone in a matter of days. Agriculturists living in larger groups, disturbing the soil, cutting down the vegetation, burning that, planting crops in the ash, and then leaving it, leaving exposed land surfaces for erosion. Third stage, intensive agriculture, usually implies irrigation. Can you imagine the amount of disruption, the amount of ecological damage that results from that? Build up of salinity in the soil. In fact, the Mayan civilization probably collapsed about 1,200 years ago, 1,000 years ago, because, in part, of salinity so in the soil. Large, massive groups of people, 130,000 people living at Teotihuacan, Mexico. Disease, living in close quarters, competition for resources, the Toltecs and the Aztecs come in and remove the Maya. Fourth stage of cultural evolution, industrial society. Tremendous influx of people, large urban centers, the problems associated with that, acid rain, industrial pollution, the fact that politicians or a certain segment of society makes the decisions while the rest of society becomes stratified, becomes spread out over a long, a long series, really have nothing to say about decision making. Hunters and gatherers really have group making uh, decisions. Everybody, it's by consensus. No formal leaders, males and females, would have equal right to their own opinion. Lastly, the fifth stage of human evolution, again, at what cost? 1945, the atomic age appears. Now, certainly, technologically advanced, and if that's how we're going to equate civilization, then I guess we're, we're fairly advanced. But what's the cost? Everyone's heard of industrial pollution. What about nuclear wastes, all that sort of thing? What will be the repercussions of this? It's only been 40 or 50 years since it started. We don't know what the future is going to be diseases like cancer, new diseases that are coming up that hunters and gatherers never experience. Their main problem is infectious disease and parasites. So the point I'm trying to make here is that there is a cost to all of this. There is a cost to this progression. And is that really progress? Ernie, there's a phone, phone call for you. Oh, I tried, <laughs> I tried that already, Michael. <laughs> Actually, buildings and grounds is out there. They're ticketing your car. <laughs> You're kidding. No, no, no. It's happening right now. That's the third one this week. <laughs> uh, I've got to go. Thanks very much. I, I just don't understand what classes just aren't sacred anymore. People can just walk in on you like that. Yeah, you know, he did raise a, a very important point, I think, that we have to come back to later on. Whether this civilization we're talking about uh, is something good or something bad.